Hey guys, it's Amy Lee Simpson. I knew I'm coming to you back to back, but uh, I am just so encouraged in the Lord and I have such urgency because of what the Lord spoke through me last night and to me. And I just really feel like he wants to encourage the body of believers right now. He wants the remnant to stand and be strong and to not fear. And so the Lord literally woke me up in the middle of the night and started speaking this word and I wrote it out basically by flashlight so I wouldn't wake anybody up. I was nearly delirious and when I read it this morning, I was just blown away by what he had to say and how much he wants to encourage um, his people right now. So I wanted to read this to you, but even before I read that, um, I wanted to read to you the verses that I had read before I went to sleep in Second Chronicles, uh, let's see, 20 verse 15 it says do not be afraid and do not be dismayed at this great horde for the battle is not yours but god's uh, in verse 17 it says you will not need to fight in this battle stand firm hold your position and see the salvation of the lord on your behalf O judah and jerusalem do not be afraid and do not be dismayed tomorrow go out against them and the lord will be with you in verse 22, it says, And they began to sing and praise. And the Lord set an ambush against the men of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, who had come against Judah. And at the end of that, it said, And they helped to destroy one another. So God was reminding me, even before I went to sleep, even before he gave me this word, that I don't need to arm myself up because I need to fight. I just need to worship amid all of the craziness and know that God is fighting, that he will set enemy against enemy, and that he has a plan that will bring forth his plans and purposes. And I just need to rest in him. I need to be at the ready, and I need to worship, and that um, he will accomplish all that he needs to be done. Um, in and through me being at peace and at rest and knowing who is in control so i just wanted to encourage you with that because worship is our most powerful weapon and i feel like oftentimes we forget that so all right this was uh friday july 29th at about one o'clock in the morning thus saith the lord even the rocks cry out can you not perceive it don't turn a deaf ear to the groaning of the earth for every rock tree and creature operates under my dominion. The signs will be too plain to ignore, though many will try to discount the words of warning I have set to verify my plans. The days of reckoning are upon you. The days of recompense and return will come swiftly now. Don't look to the right or the left. Watch as I unlock all they have hidden away. Celebrate the coming glory for the time is near. The cleansing and the purge will satisfy the need for justice and retribution, for I have not removed my hand from this land, declares the Lord of hosts. You have yet to see the overflow of my abundance. The deluge of blessing will obliterate the pain and fear of the season of waiting that has been caused. O oh, you who held fast to my word, those who scoffed and scorned will choke on their lies and be led away in the chains of their own deceit. Watch as I restore the years the locust devoured. Watch as I raise up new voices of truth and hope for this weary and disillusioned generation. Their words will be a beacon on a hill, calling the weary, the jaded, and deceived to the nectar of my truth. And the most powerful revelation of grace and revival your nation has ever seen. Yes, you will see the blueprints begin with brick and stone, a foundation to build on for generations and an outpouring of my spirit that will reset the reset. Yes, even the rocks cry out, do you not perceive it? Incline your ear, saints, I have not been silent. All right, that is the word of the Lord to encourage you in this time. He is just being so persistent and consistent with these words. I really felt like I needed to get this out to encourage you. All of those of you who are praying, who are standing against um, the onslaught of the enemy in this time that is really trying to just prey on people's fears and their uncertainties and by the things that you're seeing in the news and in the media, God wants you to know that you can have peace in this place that you can trust in him and that he has good things in store that the time is coming and the time is near and now is a time to rejoice and be excited for all he is doing love you guys he loves you we'll see you next time be encouraged bye